Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and continue our ESP32 S2 board uh, setup. And we'll go ahead and get it plugged in and go ahead and launch Goal 10 from it. But let's go ahead and jump over to our config editor. We're going to go in and change our SSID. Um, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to go with Echo Stretch. And as for the password, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that. Um, maybe in an update, we'll see a button here just to unhide it. Um, I don't think we really need it hidden, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll see that. So let's go ahead and hit Save Changes. Now, it does take a little bit of time to set the settings as well as to do the reboot. Um, in the meantime, just go ahead and check your Wi-Fi connection and it should eventually come up. I do see it here. We can go ahead and try connecting to it. There we go. We'll just go ahead and enter our password, which is going to be just the password. Um, and if you go ahead and look at here, you can see password. So if we have one of those little buttons over there just to see what the password is, I think that'd be a pretty cool feature. But let's go ahead and hit next and yes. Okay, so we are connected to Echo Stretch now. If we go ahead and click on main, everything does come up. So let's go ahead and get our ESP32 S2 board plugged in. Okay, guys, so I have it plugged into the right side USB port, and then I have it plugged into the front of the PS4 Pro. Now, it does work on the back port as well. Um, it doesn't matter which port you have it on. I'm Just for the video, I'm just showing it on this port. So let's go ahead and get onto the PS4. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll go over to our settings. Go down to our network right there. Go ahead and check connect to the internet. And we'll go to set up internet connection using Wi-Fi. Go to easy. Give it a few moments here to load up our Wi-Fi connections. So we'll go with echo stretch. Okay, we'll give it a few minutes. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, maybe I had uh, a Wi-Fi connection there before. That's clearly not the password anymore. It was. Um, let's move that up. And we'll go ahead and put in password. Go ahead and hit OK. Okay, check in network environment. Everything is good to go. So we can go back out of there. There's two ways to get onto the website. You can go to, into your user guide and just go ahead and use that. And as you can see, it does come up. Um, I do recommend just using the browser. The browser will work as well um, for the simple reason is if we start getting host, like if Carl gets his host on here, um, each time you're going to want to clear the cache anyways. Um, if it's a new update, then you're going to want to go ahead and clear it. So it's better just to stick to the web browser. That way you have all the options and you can go ahead and just jump in and go ahead in your browser history, clear that, um, into your settings and delete cookies and clear website data. Currently, we don't need to do it because there's no uh, cache being added. It's just basically a website we're loading up. Um, but yeah, once you do get loaded up, we can go ahead and just launch Goal 10. Give it a few moments here. The board itself doesn't do anything besides the red light. It just stays like that, which is pretty cool. I know the board does have a feature with flashing. I don't think I'd want to see that flashing all the time. Um, it's nice just to have a red light indicating that everything is working. Okay, so we should get the message any minute. There we go. On supported file system. And goal 10 being loaded right now. And there you go. So we'll give it a few moments here. I'm not sure if it'll redirect us to the website or not. No, it doesn't. Uh, it just stays right there. But you can go ahead and hit the PlayStation button and then go back into the browser if you want to go ahead and launch other payloads. Um, we can go ahead and test out one here. Let's... Uh, Let's try FTP since it's right here. Go ahead and just launch it. 
Okay, so it's loading the exploit. Uh, maybe later on down the road, once uh, Carl gets his set up, everything will work with bin loader or whatnot. So I know there's a few people out there working on the uh, working on the host uh, to get to work with this here. So once they do get it one released, I will update you guys. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I do know that uh, if you're using PS Slim or PS Fat, it's it's kind of a pain having the USB in the front. Uh, the PS4 Pro has a back USB, which is a big, a big great thing. But uh, yeah, you can go ahead and plug it in whichever port you want, or if you have a USB device there, a hub or whatever, you can go ahead and plug it in there. But yeah, I'm gonna leave the video at that, guys. I just want to jump on and show you that we can uh, we can do it without having to insert the USB each time. It does it automatically, and uh, whether you go with this board here or a different one. Um, just refer to the first video I made and uh, yeah that's it guys so I'm gonna leave the video at that I hope you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and hit that like button and if you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching